Yes, yes, you're not mad enough to do it yourself. Oh, well. Uh, oh, wait, no, there aren't any spiders in this area, I don't think. No, just, just shades and things, but there's no spiders. Yeah, shades, that's what they are. Just, just shades and yes, dust rates and... I think other nasty little things designed to kill you. Here they come. There we are. The nasty things designed to piss you off. Yeah, we just killed something that was made of dust. We must feel so impressive. Just like you want. Ooh, nice. Very nice. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Good, good, good. Very nice things. Very nice. Take those. Tell me. The next area. There's only like two major areas. In fact, this might be the... This might be the puzzle room right through here. Hope I can remember how to do it. I know how to do it, I just don't know what to do with it. I know what to do, but I don't know how to do yes. it. Don't cats like to be in trees? Oh look, someone's come to play. You have come to play, haven't you? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Um uh, okay. Kitty and me, of course. You don't see anyone else here, do you? Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. A demonic cat. Fantastic. <laughs> of course, silly. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. This is really, really scary. I am a cat. Really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. Thank you, Bioware. I'll be seeing this moment in my nightmares for several weeks to come. Giant talking cat with purple eyes. I have done nothing. I am all but powerless. The mage made sure of that, didn't he? I cannot leave this chamber. No, Amalia found me. After decades of isolation, her company is... welcome. <sighs> it seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose... a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father, and leave this place forever. Uh, can you lie? Yes, we can lie. Fantastic. That's such a crude way of putting it. I do not wish to harm Amalia. I merely want to see your world through her eyes. Is that so wrong? Um, yes. But we're gonna lie and do it so we can spare the girl. Why not? Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! Yes. <laughs> I've always wanted a cat, the demonic and Kitty cat is so perfect not? and pretty. Okay, you only have one opening, and you have to slide. You have to slide the squares. You can see the arrow on each of the squares, which correspond to the way they will make the flame shoot. You have to make the flame fire from one end of the book box down to the other one in the corner there. If I can remember how to do this, it will be a miracle. There's a couple of ways, different ways of doing it. The trick is, you know where all the pieces are. It's just getting them into the right spot. I like it when Kitty sings to me. And I like it when the little girl shuts up, but we can't always get what we want. Ah! And there's always a danger. You could set yourself on fire. It happens. All right. I'm I'm probably supposed to adjust that bit first over there. Yeah, I've just boxed myself in, haven't I? Crap. Oh well, I'll get it right eventually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. Probably that... doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. No, <laughs> he's not gonna like her. I promise you. 
You can no, no, go back. I need you to go down. I'm probably making this unnecessarily complicated, but I can't help it. Okay, and that's not the right one, obviously. I need that one to go there, that one to go there. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? No, it's wonderful. Um, I boxed myself in about seven steps back, didn't I? Yes, I did, didn't I? Oh well. I can fix this. I know what I was supposed to do. Now the only trick is fixing it. You need to go. He's you. my best friend. Shut up! I'm trying to think. You... No, that was exceedingly stupid of me. Um, no. That works. Good. Good. Now where's the downward facing one? That's gonna set it all in a circle. About the sun, silly. <laughs> You, there, there. I need the one down there to move, but I have to shift everything up here first so I can get it to go into the right motion. Good, good, good. You, there. Shift. I need to get that backwards facing one out of, out of the, uh... Tell me a story. Out of the slot. And I need you to come down. Circulate these three. Good. Eh. Eh. That's gonna jam, isn't it? Oh, I just need one more forward facing one. And you are my oh, mark. Flower. Is it a daffodil? I like daffodils. I'm seriously going to strangle that girl in a minute, I swear to God. No, no. Uh, uh. Oh wait, I could have just moved that down there, couldn't I? Oh, cr well, you know what, I'm, a I'm already in too far. It's too late to go back now. I'm already committed. Ow. Father doesn't like cats, but he never met Kitty. Your father wants his daughter back, but he never met you. <laughs> and then I can circulate you over. Uh, I really should have done that back then. That was really stupid of me. It's alright, I'll figure it out here in a second. You there. Aha, there we go. That's got it. Perfect. Yes. I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty? What's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. <laughs> okay, I have to be very careful what I say here because I can get everyone killed. Uh, yes, the first one I think. Is it? Yeah. Betrayal! You will not take the girl. She is mine. Kitty, you're scaring me. I won't let you inside me. I won't. This sounds like something you say to a rapist. Told you it was a demon. Let's kill it before it kills us. First I must blow myself up. Oh no, I can't do it. I don't like that. Relatively simple fight, the puzzle's the most irritating bit of that, and it's actually not that difficult of a puzzle. I could have solved it about half that time, but I made one critical mistake, and then I became stubborn and decided to commit to solving it the other way. I'm gonna go back and look at this when I'm done recording, and I'm going to see what I could have easily done, and I'm gonna think, oh my god, why did you take such a short amount of time to do it? Kill you, get in here. That's a simple. <laughs> Doing good, making good progress. And 
that should be the last of the enemies. You did it! You freed her! Thank you so much! I'm sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Han. If you still want that bloody thing, I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. Thank you for getting this little girl back. I'm never feeding her again. Jeez, it got cold in here real fast. Because the building's temperature is universally set to 70. And then of course it gets cold outside, which means it gets cold in here. Uh, why do I have that mapped to? There we go. I have the same thing mapped to two slots, which is completely redundant. That was exceedingly stupid of me. Let's go outside and activate the giant talking boulder. That's what it is. It's a giant talking boulder that kills things for you. And it's very good at doing that. Alright, let's do this. I yawn. That's how you switch. You, you yawn and it switches on. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. Hmm. And of course, it is another mage. That is what it is. Yes, yes. Just my luck. <laughs> there we go. It thinks these crystals are simply for show, I see. It thinks I cannot sense the energies it commands. Huh. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long, many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be really, really boring. <gasps> then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm, another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me, are all the villagers dead? No, not all of them. Some got away, then. How unfortunate. <laughs> oh, God, I love this guy. Perhaps I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. Uh-huh. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. Um... And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is broken. Great. That's just great. It's free. Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means I have free will, yes? It is simply, what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I honestly didn't plan on it, which was pretty stupid. I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. <laughs> I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. <laughs>